Have a seat. I need the other half now. Okay. You ready, hon? Can I go with her? No, I'm sorry. I'll be right back to take you in. <laughs> what did you see, Mr. Owl? Get out of here, Owl. <laughs> I used to have owls all up in the trees. My uncle's maple syrup farm in Maine. We used to spend the summers there on our house. They call it a sugar bush. <laughs> My cousin used to wake us up in the middle of the night so we could tap the trees. The sap rises faster when there's a full moon. Do they still own the farm? Yeah. They stopped production when my uncle died. I'm gonna move up there someday and start it up again. I'm gonna work all night. I need apple pancakes all day. <laughs> you crazy. Mm, just figuring that out. <laughs> I'm crazy. Right, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I'm home. I brought dinner. I'll be right down. You got a letter from Oberlin. The booger I picked last night and left on my nightstand turned to dust when I touched it in the morning and I thought to myself, is that what happens to us when we die? This is a key tenet of Buddhism. Nothing is permanent. Thank you, Stephen, for once again simultaneously enlightening and grossing us all out. <laughs> ben, you're up next. I don't have anything. Sarah, how about you? Fertility cults provided the basis for early Christianity. Yeah. Maybe you picked a religion? Taoism. I want something on my desk by Friday. Mr. Reed? Mm hmm. I was wondering if. I heard that you might know someone that could help me take care of something? Like a doctor? What kind of a doctor? You know what, it's, it's nothing. I'll see you tomorrow. Ben, wait. 
No one should be that rich. I know, but Kitty's getting too big because of that, you know? Hey, dude. Hey. What was that all about? Did you see Steve's face today when I did that layoff on him? <laughs> yeah, he was all like, <laughs> oh, "No, dude." <laughs> what was he like? <laughs> no, dude. Four months, Ben. That's what normal people do. I'm sorry. Stop saying that. What is this? It's mine. Whose number is this? It's a number for a Taoist expert that Mr. Reed gave me for my assignment. Why are you being so weird? It's just be because I don't. Give me the phone. Hi, yeah, this is Ben Brzezowski. Leo. Mm hmm. Yeah, from Mr. Reed. gave me and I told him it was for a Dallas extra for my assignment but I'm such a shit liar and he started piecing things together. What happened? He called the number and pretended to be me and the woman thought it was suspicious and hung up but I couldn't lie to him anymore. I couldn't think of anything. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We stick to the plan. Brzezowski, need a lift? No thanks. We just want to talk, Ben. <laughs> Fucking breeder! <laughs> Chance, dude. Get off of him! Ben. Come on, Leo, let's go. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? What? <laughs> Thank <sighs> you. 
Her cervix is torn and the uterus was punctured, but we think the fetus will be fine as long as we can keep Emily's fever down. I don't understand. How did this happen? Emily, I'm Dr. Carlison. I'm the chief of obstetrics. How are you feeling? Tired. Do you think you can answer some questions for me? Do you know who dropped you off here tonight? Do you know who did this to you? Emily, I'm required by law to report whether or not you cooperated. I don't know. As you know, termination is not an option, so we don't really have a choice. We'll handle the paperwork tomorrow. I want to keep you overnight. You'll have to sign some papers in the morning. What papers? Adoption consent forms. I'm not doing you that. You don't have a choice, Emily. What about Oberlin? What about Ben? Ben? Ben Brusowski. You are not going to raise this baby with a boy. There are thousands of normal couples out there waiting to start a family. You can't just... <sighs> I shouldn't have brought this up now. You know, when you were a little girl, you used to always ask your mother and me, which one of us was your bio mom? You were relentless. I still don't know. Would it make a difference? Ohio is reeling from another teen suicide at a local middle school. 13-year-old Lucas Delario reportedly shot himself with a handgun that belonged to his father. This is the second suicide in the small suburban town in three months. Sources say both teens have been targets of harassment after coming out as heterosexual. Summit in Zurich next week. She plans to push new measures to maintain world population levels, but some are skeptical an agreement can be reached after tensions between the U.S. and India. Hey. What are you doing? So sorry I left you. They're asking me all these questions. And I just. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> 